Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today I just want to talk to you about uh, Trudeau's new inflation relief plan. Uh, it's going to cost approximately four and a half billion dollars. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the politics behind this. This isn't a channel where I want to get into arguments about these types of things. This is just what this is. Uh, I know he says that, you know, putting money out won't cause more inflation. I'm not sure that he's the greatest economist. Um, <clears throat> but here is the, the plan as outlined for now, as far as I know it. We'll put a link uh, in the description of the video. You can read about it a little bit more. Uh, the first thing that they're going to do is they are going to double the GST tax credit. Uh, this is going to provide support to about 11 million Canadians. Um, so about half of Canadian families and seniors are going to get a larger GST tax credit check uh, at some point. I don't know when this is happening. This is going to work out for a single person about 234 extra dollars in their GST tax credit. Uh, a couple with two kids, so a couple with one kid, would get less than this. About $467 if you're receiving that GST tax credit right now. And for seniors, about $225 extra dollars. So that's uh, one of the major ones. Uh, they're also doing a, a dental benefit to children under 12. This is part of a bigger overall plan to uh, sort of uh, bring a little bit uh, of dental health into the healthcare system for lower income Canadians. So uh, children under 12 without insurance are going to be entitled to uh, $650 per year in dental care up to a total of, of $1,300 over the course of two years. I don't know exactly how this works, but if your kids don't have dental care under your group benefit plan, then it sounds like they can get up to $650 worth of dental care off of uh, government funding. And then the other one, so obviously if you're renting, you know that uh, your rent has maybe gone up, your grocery bill has gone up, everything has gone up, and you're struggling with money. So this is where they're doing the Canada Housing Benefit. It's a one-time $500 top-up for about 1.8 million Canadian renters. Uh, this is a benefit that you actually have to apply for. I don't know how to apply for it yet, but when we find that out, then we can... Uh, certainly let you know uh, this is a benefit for couples who net their net income is under thirty five thousand dollars a year so that means your income after you've paid taxes as a couple is under thirty five thousand dollars a year and singles who make under twenty thousand dollars a year and you also have to pay at least thirty percent of your income on rent so uh, I know you have to apply. If you qualify, then you can get a one-time $500 top-up. This is supposed to help about 1.8 million of you. Um, and like I said, we'll let you know once we learn how to apply. And uh, there's also something I've talked about before, which is the 10% increase in OAS for seniors who are 75 and older. So if you're over 75, you're just going to get an increase in your OAS payments by 10%. Works out to about $800 extra dollars per year for those seniors who are collecting full OAS. Uh, as far as I know, that's all of the changes so far, but uh, we'll try and keep you updated with these changes as we try and keep on top of them as well. And... Uh, if you, if you want to learn more, uh, I might not be the person to ask. But we can certainly try and help 
Uh, we'll be talking about this stuff a lot, I think, in, in the coming months and years. So I'll just try and keep you guys updated. And if you haven't already, please uh, like and subscribe that video. And we'll see you very soon.